We are into the second week of Fallout 4 and the mods are getting better and better and I thought I'd show you a few that got my attention this week. The first mod I'm going to show you may be my favourite mod for Fallout 4 so far. It certainly went straight on to my must have mod list. Fallout 4 has a much simpler dialogue system than previous games. You seem to be limited to four choices. You control it via the mouse or the arrow keys and the description of what you are going to say is not actually a complete repetition of what you Sir, will say. You were going to say. So for example, if I if I choose everything's dead, that is not what I will say. My god. They did it. Those bastards really did it. Everything's dead. Now, the problem with this is it does occasionally leave you totally unprepared for what you actually say. It, it can well catch you off guard. You find yourself saying things you didn't really intend to say and occasionally, really, you get it completely wrong just because you had no idea of what was coming. And that is where the full dialogue interface mod comes in. It changes the dialogue interface to be a simple list, pretty similar to previous games. It's still limited to four options, but this time you can activate them with the number keys, which I prefer, it's much closer to hand for me, but most importantly, you can actually see what you're going to say. When you, when you say Codsworth, you're still here, so other people could still be alive too. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive too. That is exactly what you say. You say what you choose. And that is why it is on my must-have mod list. Absolutely brilliant. I think it's important that I mention that the original mod is actually a Russian mod called New Dialogue by Shadwar, uh, and the <laughs> full dialogue interface is just the English translation of that mod. So we owe a big thank you to Shadwar as well as Kirasan. And in fact, I found when I endorsed this file, something I encourage you all to do, it automatically gave me the option to endorse New Dialogue, even though I had not downloaded this file. So give them both the credit, endorse both. This is a great mod and a big thank you to both of these guys. Staying with the subject of dialogue, one of the more controversial aspects of Fallout 4 is the fact that it has a voiced protagonist. This was something that a lot of people did not like and if you are such a person, the no player voice mod is one you probably want to check out. It does exactly that. It removes the voice from the protagonist. So if I check, uh, click the second option, but of course I'm still here. No voice. Surely you don't think a little. Now, this not only makes it more similar to the original games, it also speeds the dialogue along. As you as you see, there's no delay. I choose the option, and he replies to me immediately. Now, if you're going to use this mod, I highly recommend two things. The first is that you use the previous mod I just showed you, the full dialogue interface. Knowing what you are going to say is going to be even more essential as even if you've got subtitles set so you can see what you say flash up, it flashes by very, very quickly, which is good, which is good. But obviously, if you, if you only have the short version, you will not know exactly what you said. I would also recommend going into settings, display, and turning off the dialogue camera. You don't really want to be looking at your character's face when you speak. I will show you why by turning it on. We go back and then choose option one. As you can see, it changes the camera onto my face and you can see my lips move and it's a little disconcerting. This was always going to be one of the mods that was going to be made and if you mix this mod with the previous mod, you get an experience that is far closer to the experience you would have had in previous games. Obviously there is more to Fallout 4 than talking. 
You can also shoot your way out of many situations, and to do that, you're going to require ammo. And one of the things that is missing, in my opinion, from Fallout 4, is an option to craft ammo. In Fallout New Vegas, you had an ammo crafting bench, and you could craft all sorts of ammo, and if you actually took the perks, you could craft, you could make your own custom ammo, which was superb. But Fallout 4, not so much. However, there is a mod called Ammo Crafting, and guess what it does? It allows you to craft ammo. You use the chem bench, which makes sense, since that's where you make grenades and mines, and it literally adds recipes to make all of the ammunition. Some of the ammunition has requirements, science requirements, gun nut requirements, which are perfectly reasonable, demolition expert, and so on, and all of the requirements seem pretty expected, to be honest. 10mm rounds require some chemicals, some metal, uh, some cloth, and it's all perfectly reasonable. You create them in batches of, well, you can actually choose. I've chosen the default, which is 25, and it's that simple. You just, you just use the components you found, the junk you found, and make ammunition. A very, very simple mod, at least at the moment, and if you like to use ammunition and you're getting fed up of scavenging for it, this is one to try out. And I'm actually hoping this mod gets expanded a little once the GEC comes out. Perhaps we'll get more complicated recipes. Perhaps you'll be able to break down ammunition, because that's one of the things you can't do at the moment. You can't break down existing ammunition to use for components. So maybe we will see that. And hopefully at some point in the future we will see a custom ammo mod. That would be nice as well. Armor piercing rounds and so on. For me, one of the big improvements in Fallout 4 has been power armor. I love the way it's been implemented. I love the way you climb into it. I love the way it behaves, the way it feels like you're in a vehicle rather than wearing armor. But the one thing I was less impressed with was the sound. It sounds a little quiet, to be honest. In fact, I'm fairly sure the dog's footsteps are actually louder. But with a mod called Power Armor Movement Sounds, well, now you sound like you're running around in a massive set of power armor. I feel like Robocop almost. In fact, I keep wanting to check the uh, road to see if I'm actually damaging it. This feels more like it. This feels like real heavy power armor. And if you are bothered by the volume of those steps, during the recording of this video, the mod author actually released a new version of the mod that has lighter sounding footsteps, so it's a little less deafening. It's still noticeably, well, heavier sounding than the original. But it won't distract you too much. Honestly, I think I prefer the, the, the noisy version. I think I do. But you still feel a little heavier. And finally, do you find yourself getting a little stressed out that in first person mode, you're running around with your weapon pointed forward at all times? You know, if you go up to someone to greet them, they've got their weapon out, they look all nice and casual, but you, you're pointing yours at theirs. If you go into third person, it looks perfectly reasonable. You, you can now have a conversation and there's no problem. But the second you go back into first person, you're staring down the barrel at their backs or faces. It's a, well, it's a little rude, isn't it? Well, with a mod called Lowered Weapons, the first person animation now matches the third person animation. It will occasionally point forward, but it will then return back to its relaxed stance. It's not gonna do it now, is it? Nope. So I can now walk up to this settler and feel perfectly reasonable having a conversation with them. Don't feel like I'm being threatening. Obviously when you shoot, the gun snaps back 
to facing forward. And of course, you can aim. Perfectly reasonable for you to aim down the sights. But as soon as you stop, it goes into a more relaxed stance. It seems to work with all weapons, although I have seen a complaint that if you're using a Fat Man, a weapon I haven't found yet, it kind of blocks half the screen, and I can imagine that, but then you're running around with a nuke lobber. So uh, you, you might want to put that away whilst running around casually. Uh, it seems to work just fine for pistols as well. All round, a great mod to improve the immersion and help you feel a little less threatening when talking to people. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. You are more than welcome to join me for the next Fallout 4 Mod Vault and I look forward to seeing you there. But until then, remember, as always, have fun. If you're curious as to whether I've covered a mod in one of my videos, feel free to go along to my website, gophersvids.com, and check the search functionality out. Just type the name of the mod you're interested in, open up the settings, and filter by mods only. Click for search, and you will see whether or not I've covered that mod. Click on the mod, and it will also show you any of the videos this mod appears in.